But now it's time for me to hurry up and get these guys prepared and ready for cooking. Which Hello everyone, welcome to MDLR Fishing. My name is Mark and today we're gonna take the redfish that we caught earlier and turn them into redfish cakes. We're gonna start things off by dicing up some green onion. Now we'll take a red bell pepper and dice this up. Take a couple of stalks of celery and dice these up as well. Now we're gonna take some garlic and mince up about three, maybe four cloves of it. We're gonna take a redfish fillet, clean it up, and then cube it up as well. So we're gonna remove what's left of the bloodline right here and just cube it up. We've got everything prepped, ready to go. Now we're gonna saute all the vegetables. Take two tablespoons of olive oil. Take our onion, bell pepper, celery, we'll saute this for about five minutes. A little bit of Cajun seasoning right here. Just put as much as you like for taste. All you really wanna do is sweat down these vegetables, get them a little bit soft so that they're not really crunchy. All right, here we go. It's nice and soft now. It's been going for a little over five minutes. The vegetables, bell pepper, everything is nice and soft. We're gonna cut our heat off. We're gonna add our redfish. I just cut the heat because I didn't wanna like saute the actual redfish itself. I wanna mix it in and then evenly kind of cook the outside of it. We'll finish it off inside the cast iron skillet whenever we fry it. There we are. All we wanna do is just really mix it together. Now we're gonna take some panko and for this, I don't have an exact measurement. I'm just basically gonna eyeball it. Add a little bit more. We need enough breading to actually form out some patties. Let's thoroughly mix this. Next, what we're gonna do is add some eggs, but we need to make sure that the pan is fully cooled off because we don't wanna add our egg and then the egg to actually cook. We just need it to be wet so that it makes all the ingredients in here stick together along with that panko. So the fish, it's not fully cooked. It's white on the outside, but on the inside of each little cube, it's still gonna be raw. It's cooled down enough to be able to add our egg to the mixture. So, here we go. We'll start with two, and then we'll go to three if it's not sticky enough to form into a patty.
You know you've cooked the redfish too long if it starts to fall apart on you whenever you're doing all of this heavy mixing. So just be wary of actually overcooking it. Make sure you turn the heat off the way I did earlier in this process so that you don't overcook it and then the meat starts to flake on you. I think we got a good consistency here. It's enough to where we can actually form into patties. Yeah, that's, that's sticking together nice and good. All right, now we're gonna add our butter. It's about a quarter of a tablespoon right there. Here we go, nice and melted. We're gonna take and form a generous sized patty right here with our mixture of redfish and breading. Take a look at that right there. Make sure we get that in focus. Looks nice. Right. Let's gently set this inside our pan. So we're gonna cook this for about a minute and a half, two minutes on each side. The heat is nice and low so that the uh, heat from the pan can actually cook through from the bottom of the patty itself towards the center and then when we flip it, it'll just cook evenly. It's time to flip. There we go. This bad boy is ready. Let's go ahead and plate it. Now the fun part. Let's taste this. All right, the moment of truth. I've done a redfish cake before or redfish patty. I'm not too sure what I called it in my last video. It was my first attempt. This second attempt is a bit different than the original recipe. So I added a lot more uh, of the redfish so that I could have that taste come through. And then I just used a Cajun seasoning. Anyhow, if you're interested, you can go back and look at the other recipe. It was pretty good as well, but this one, I've got high hopes for it, so here we go. Nice and steamy. Oh gosh, it smells so good. <laughs> There's a lot of crunch to it. Overcooked it. So that is just on the outside, but the inside is so tender. The redfish is thoroughly cooked. And I've got to say, I would never try this with speckled trout or flounder because the meat would just probably turn into mush. But the fact that the, uh, the meat on the redfish is nice and firm, it is perfect for this. If I had a sauce for it, it would really set it off. So that's probably the next thing that I'm going to do. But my gosh, this is, it is so tasty. The fresh ingredients. Mmm. I got to go turn the timer off and flip the other one. All right, now back to this bad boy. I'm telling you what, this is really, really good. Because the redfish is so fresh, you don't have that lingering fish flavor, the fish taste, it, and it's just really good. My gosh. I'm telling you what, out of uh, like a number scale from one to 10, this right here is gonna get a nine. It is that good, and I don't even have sauce for it. The panko breading, again, I just kind of judged it. And then with the eggs, three eggs, able to form the patties. All right, that's it. I'm gonna end this video because I'm about to devour this bad boy. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, you know what to do. Click that thumbs up button. For those of you not subscribed to my channel, and you enjoy what you saw, do me a favor, click that subscribe button. 
and also ring the notification bell icon so that YouTube will let you know whenever I publish new videos. Until next time, tight lines, y'all.